first of all, I want to introduce you to the one and only HHSB. What's up, family? What's up? <laughs> My boy, real soul in the, uh, in the building, man. What up? Uh, not too much. I know we've been trying to do this for a while now. Timing issues, these issues, but yeah, we are. Getting None of that matters, bro. We here now. We here now. Yeah, None that's of that what matters. matters. That's what matters. That was all matter. love. All love. So now, I, I miss you in DC, bro. You were in DC. Yeah, we were you. supposed to link up. I think it went for the two days, right? I only yeah. went on Saturday. So yeah, yeah, I, I went planning, both days. But we're still gonna link up for sure, bro. Oh, we have to. Yeah, we, yeah, have we have to. Um, link up. We got a lot of stuff to talk about to catch yeah. our nut. So we're gonna link up. So I'll let you do the honor. I'll let you introduce yourself for those that don't know you. For sure. You know, for the Russo well, family. And then we get it started. hundred percent, man. So to the real soul family, man, my name is the HHSB crew. And everybody's probably wondering, yo, what does that HHSB stand for? Like, why why do we have all these letters? Um, I started this sneaker journey. I've always loved sneakers, right? Like, I've always loved sneakers. But at some point, I was kind of confused if I was a hype beast or if I was really a sneakerhead. So when I started the channel, I was like, you know, we're going to figure this journey out together. We're going to figure out if I'm a hype beast or if I'm a sneakerhead. But I, since I'm confused, I jumbled them two together and I made hype head sneaker beast. Oh, so wow. it's it's a nice little story behind it for anybody who doesn't know. But, uh, you know, that's that's the story behind the name. Now, I'm a I'm a YouTuber uh i stream all the time man i'm always streaming i'm always dropping videos always dropping shorts so if you guys don't follow me on youtube or anything like that man make sure you guys tap in the homie taps in with me all the time he knows right um so you guys can tap in with me have some fun man follow me on instagram all that good stuff but other than that man i'm just a dude who likes sneakers just like y'all man i, I ain't nobody different i just like sneakers and you like I just sneakers and you like to be fresh yeah, That's just like it. to be fresh, you know, <laughs> slightly <laughs> fresh, you know. You said slightly? Just slightly fresh, you know. All right, be stop fresh, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> facts. Right, That's facts. If you're not fresh, you're not Ibis because you have to go for something that is fresh that you know that people can't really get their hands on. I know. On like that. So, yeah. you. I know, you, I know, I know, I know. You're definitely keeping it cool. I appreciate the intro and... I don't know how long this is gonna take us, but I don't go by the street. I have nothing written down. I just oh go for so divide. I like yeah. it like that. I yeah, like it like that. No script. We didn't talk before this guy. I mean, I talked to him, but we didn't talk before this and try to figure out hey, what you gonna ask me, what you gonna talk about, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. This is all just off the top, man. So I appreciate it like that. But all yeah, right. man, feel free so to go. We can we kind of have cinema uh, uh, sim similar stuff when it comes to like sneakers. Like yeah, you said when you started your sneaker journey like you don't know which one you are you are quietly on the fence in between like you don't know if you are eye beast or yes you're, you know sneakerhead which you came ac across the name so for me i call myself soul lover i don't i don't call myself like a sneakerhead yeah sneakerhead would do anything to get in, to yeah get in. yeah yeah me if i pass or skip on a shoe i'm good yeah you know, i'll keep it moving you feel yeah me? So I just call myself a soul lover, and I don't know if you know, I got this series I did back, like back then that I was getting shoe below 100. You know? Oh wow! Yeah, if you are, like I was getting shoe way cheaper, below 100. So I just like my shoe, style them as long as I can style the shoe, I'm good. It doesn't right? matter, right? It doesn't and I, matter. and I, I like that. I like that because a lot of times we get caught up in the names. And um, and I think honestly, that's one of the things that I have figured out on the sneaker journey is that the names and the labels and all of that, all it really does is like separate us. So mm -hmm. being a sneaker lover, a soul lover, um, is basically what it boils down to. Like, um, I almost there's certain things I don't like. Like, I don't really like the hype beast term. I don't really like when somebody says a shoe is trash. Mm -hmm. Like, and sometimes really? I, yeah, like sometimes I get upset about it because I say it sometimes. So I'm like, yo, I got to reprogram myself to not say this sneaker is trash because just because I don't like it doesn't mean somebody else doesn't don't. like it. It doesn't mean that somebody else can't style it and make it look dope. So maybe that's just where I'm lacking and I don't see the potential. Um, so I like the fact that you call yourself a soul lover, man. That's basically it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because that's at least that's it. So what yeah. I want to I want to ask you is like, 
how many pairs of shoes do you got so far? So, so far, I would say I don't have a large collection, man. Like if I move the camera, like I have, I have probably, I say maybe 30 to 40 pairs. Okay. It's not, I mean, and I say that's not like people are going to watch them like, yo, 30 pairs. That's a, that's a lot of, I've seen rooms that are bigger <laughs> than like my living room full of sneakers. And um, to me, it's more about quality over quantity. Like I'm not a, I want to have every shoe that comes out and that's where the hype beast thing kind of comes in where people are like that's, oh you, those, you yeah yeah like you only that, pick this one yeah. and that one but you know i don't know everything doesn't catch my eye um and i don't feel the need to have everything like i i pass on a lot of sneakers i pass on a lot of sneakers and i go for the things that i really like but i probably have maybe 30, 30 to 40 pairs okay okay so i'm it's not like i'm stalking you on instagram Anybody that's just like my follower, I consider yeah. them as family. I watch yeah. their stories. I like their posts. I follow up with whatever they are doing. So I notice like you're a family man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mean, you're a family man. Aside, aside from sneakers, you yeah. got, you know, you got your real life stuff going on. And it's not like you combine both together like that. Yeah. It's, it's people that actually, actually know you that are going to know that, okay, you got this going. So exactly. My question is, how do you get to you know mix both together and balance it like the challenges and what you love about it? Because I'm calling you a family man. It's not like you have just like oh one kid. Yeah, I got two know. and a wife yeah. and everything. So no, man, that's I that's a secret, bro. That's a great question. Um, and me and my wife talk about it all the time. Where um. I, I've been blessed to find a wife or a partner that really, um, she really understands me and she really loves this for herself. Like, not to say that you can't have a, a cohesive relationship with someone who doesn't like what you like. Like, that's, that's not what I'm saying. But I think I'm just lucky that my wife really uh, gravitates to some of the same things that I gravitate to. Um, she went to school to be a pastry chef. She bakes. So what you guys don't see is that I'm in the kitchen baking too. You know what I'm saying? I'm cooking up too. So you, I try to do some of the, the sneakers. You're yeah, I'm, 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 cook, I'm not just cooking up sneakers. We cooking up pastries too. Um, so we really try to just dive into each other's interests. And I think you have to do that. You know, if you don't dive into each other's interests, I think that you get someone who is, you know, looking for their, uh, looking for that sort of attention. And my kids are just, it's like, you don't know that you're programming your kids to be a certain way until you're buying them all the sneakers. And then my son's like, yo, those are dropping. What's up, dad? Are you going to cop those? I'm like, damn, I forgot. Like <laughs> you like sneakers too. Um, um, so just my entire family is just amazing, man. And I think that I'm really blessed to have a family who really supports all the things that I'm interested in, and I equally support them. My my daughter plays volleyball. My son plays football. My wife is a nurse. I support her in 100 percent everything that she does. So, um, it may it, it's I I feel like it's easy because we all really love what each other does, and we all try to like really look out for each other. Yeah, that was actually a blessing, like to combine everything together. Like, yeah, yeah. God, I'm happy for that. Like, yeah. And now we try to hit events together, my wife. And the thing is, my wife is not like we're not. Um, we're we this. I've just been on Instagram. If you could probably look at my Instagram and see when I don't even know how to tell, but I've been on Instagram for maybe a year, maybe less than a year. I'm not really a social media person, so I don't even like put out a ton and I don't want to say a social media person. Let me say that. I'm not a person who really like is super interested in like putting my life out there, mm -hmm. but I also want people to know that I don't just do buy sneakers. Shoes. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't just buy shoes all day. Like I'm a regular person. I go out to dinner. I, you know, my, my, I have a birthday. My daughter bakes me cookies. My son plays football, you know, so I'm a real person. All right. All right. So, um, there's this app that I'll be seeing everywhere. But whenever I see that app, I'll be seeing your face there. So I don't know if you're the owner of the app or you're affiliated to the app. Yeah. So tell me about that. Are you the so, CEO? Go on to that. Go on to that. That's what we talking, we talking about. One of that. We talking about one of, <laughs> one of that is the family, man. And um, that came up 
uh, that came up just they really took a shot on a dude who had like 2,000 subscribers, man. Like I had, uh, I, when they contacted me and reached out to me, I had 2,000 subs. And the same thing with Soul Premise, the same thing with Rejuvenator, the same thing with Crease Beast. All of these guys really took a chance on a person, um, gave an opportunity to a person who's not popping. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think I'm not popping, but I'm not at the level of some of these guys that we see, Unbreakable Kicks, Jada Sneaker Guy, um, Seth Fowler, Seth Fowler, you know what I mean? Just to name a few, Roscoe, just to thing, name a few. Yeah. Um, those guys are really popping, man, and they took a shot on me. And um, literally, family, like I talk to them almost every day. Um, I don't own the app. I am uh, an influencer, ambassador uh, for the app. And uh, we're really gonna be shaking things up here, like really soon. I'm talking like as soon as I'm gonna say October. You should see a big shake up with Wanted App. You should see a lot of new things, a lot of amazing things coming down the line. And uh, you guys just gotta stay tuned. We definitely look out for that. that yeah, I can't 100%. wait. I I can't wait. I'm pumped for that. So yeah, um, man. Do you have any sneaker convention that you're going next? Like sneaker con, got so like man, do you have anyone you're looking for? This last quarter is gonna be pretty insane, man. So I'll be in Minnesota this weekend uh for sneaker con and then next week and i'll i think it's dallas i'll be in dallas next weekend uh i'll probably be in tampa as well which is the weekend after that and then i'll be in la uh all right. for sneaker con so all sneaker cons i'm trying to this was the year um i've only been doing sneaker content for two years right this is my yeah. second year um doing sneaker content uh going into my third year i'm sorry going into my third year um and the first year and a half or so was just getting people to see me right like just getting people to know hey, this is what i do and um the second year i said hey i want to get out of here and i want to get out there and i want people to see me and i want to talk to people i want to engage i want to have conversations i want to learn about things that aren't just in my own bubble um so we really made it an initiative. Me and my wife talked about it and was like, yo, no matter what, you got to get out there this year. And uh, it's been really fun, man. It's been really fun meeting all of the people that I watched on YouTube for years that I never got a chance to meet. Um, all of the different events that I never went to that I was too nervous to go to because I thought that no one would know who I was or no one would care who I was or why I'm there or why I'm asking them questions. And it's just been really amazing, man. It's been really fun. I've had a lot of um, meaningful uh, conversations and meaningful meetings with people. I just look forward to continuing that, man. Yeah, I can really, I can really, you know, I can really, I can tell from experience, like I can relate to that because yeah. I've been doing sneaker, like I won't say I didn't go in deep into it. I was just like, it's like hobby, right? I started yeah. off as hobby. This is like, literally my third year too because yeah. when i start, set up the the page i named it like real soul 2020 mm. during the pandemic you know yeah so i started seeing like audience then i changed it i started changing the name and i just like okay real soul info all i want to yeah. do is talk about sneakers you know so this year is like the year that i actually went out there too and like you said from your experience yeah you know, same thing same feeling like I get, I get to talk talk to people. Right. Get my shoe off. Can you sign on my shoe? Yeah. Can right. Let's talk. Off? Let's have a conversation. Yeah. Then I get to experience that the sneaker culture is way beyond just copy sneakers. Yeah. It's way beyond having you know this in your collection. Yeah. Like, is 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 a community for real? For real. So, really, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it's, it's a, a very real. large community, man. It's a large yeah. community and. If you don't get out and experience it fully, all you'll know is what you see on Instagram. Instagram. All you'll see is all oh, the all the shoes and all of this and all you know and the cashing out and blah blah blah. But when you get out and you talk to people and really kind of understand like what they do and why they do what they do, it's so much better than that, man. It's not. It's about. It's bigger than sneakers. Let me just say that. It's bigger than sneakers. All right. I'm about to put you in the odd zone right now. Okay, okay. Right <laughs> okay. I've, you know, I've we've interact 
we have cool conversation i'm about to put you in the oxo like okay for you, you to be uncomfortable so now forget about jordan forget about nike right i can yeah. see some lost and found i can see some white cement yeah background let's forget about all that okay let's say none of this sneaker exists like nike or jordan yeah now let's bring like other sneakers that you know of what do you think you probably have in your collection the most um i was well i guess i'm gonna put i'm gonna put yeezy in that so maybe i'm gonna exclude talking about yeezy because i feel like i was a i was a big yeezy guy too like i i have an old picture yeah i have an old picture of um my like starter collection that i wanted i'll probably share it with you where i had like four or five pairs of yeezys and like two pairs of jordans Oh, wow. Um, and I, I've been trying to get out of the whole, uh, the rat race of Jordan and Yeezy and, uh, Travis Scott and all of that. And I honestly haven't really found that sneaker that really speaks to me. And it's like, yo, you have to jump out. Now I will say the one shoe that I was super, I was like, yo, this might be the one was the new balance. I think it was new balance bricks and wood. It, it had, it was like, um, it, it had like green nice. and like a little bit of like fuzzy uh laces i was like that might be the one um i think i know the shoe yeah that one's really nice um and honestly man i got this one right here i show this one all the time this one was uh this one was sent over um by social status and this is like this gel light is extremely comfortable like i love this shoe i've worn it a lot like you probably can't tell but i've worn it a lot it's really comfortable so a6 i would think maybe a6 something like this is something it gel, in this light, gel is light. it gel light three or gel or five five okay okay yeah yeah all right That's yeah good. gel light five and i like the colorway on it man i feel like i should have i probably should have jumped out on the limb and bought that salehi um that's the Leahy New Balance as well, because that one looks really nice in, in person too. Yeah, that's definitely something different. Like you can't you can literally stand out wearing that, like knowing that people around you don't even know what the shoe exactly. is. Exactly. You know, that's that's totally different. Exactly. So I, I like I, I would say New Balance and ASICs would be probably the things that I would venture into a little bit more. I haven't gotten into like Solomon and um some of those other like I won't say obscure, but like a little le lesser known brands. I want to try them. What was the one, man? There was another one. It, was, it looked like a banana. It was like brown and Hoka. yellow. You know which one? No, I'm, I'm, is it? No, I don't think it was a Hoka. It was, I think it was a New Balance. Oh, wow. I can't remember the name, but that was one that I really liked too. And everyone hated it. But I was like, yo, if you guys know what shoe I'm talking about, it just came out. When you guys watch this, drop it in the comments and let us comment. know which one that is yeah yeah so i recently saw your post on instagram right you're talking about the travis scott like the travis scott and i come here like <laughs> i'm triggered <laughs> you have to give me reasons i need all reasons. Right. so why all right so what he's what he's talking ones. about what, he, what he's talking about is uh i think nice kicks or somebody posted a um What's the top Travis Scott collaboration? And I, I've I've got a couple of them. I don't have all of them. I've got a couple of them. I'm definitely still trying to to gain a few other pairs. But uh, it it came down to the Jordan ones and the Jordan fours. Uh, the Travis Scott high OG Mocha ones and the uh, Travis Scott fours. And I picked the Travis Scott fours as the best Travis Scott collab. Now one. Because I always say fours over everything. Like fours are my favorite silhouette. Excuse, sorry to cut you off. You picked the mocha ones, not the fours. I, I, I picked the mocha ones first and then I moved it over and I picked oh, the fours. Yeah, I switched oh, it at the end. You didn't see that? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I switched it at the end. Yeah, I was like, yo, it has yeah, to be the oh, ones. And then I was like, oh, no, man, it's the fours. And I was, um, now you said the sixes. Now, I like the sixes. I really love the sixes. But I think that the Travis Scott sixes are a little bit more in my eyes, like a boot. Because it, it's yeah, so heavy. Definitely, It's such a heavy shoe. And I feel like it's it has a lane of like that fall season for me where I don't really, I won't wear it in the summer. I'll probably only wear it in the fall um and the four i feel like i can just wear it whenever um 
the Jordan one was a gift from my wife. I thought I, I thought I took an L. I didn't think that I was gonna hit on that shoe. I and saw that. I saw you posted it. I saw, bruh, I saw the video. <laughs> and she bought, she got that shoe, and I was like, I. So to me, that has like a special place in my heart because I really wanted it, and she got it for me. But generally, fours are my favorite. Fours are my favorite silhouette. So I had, I had to pick this. Wait, wait. Overall, yeah, overall, like. All brands, <laughs> fours are your favorite. Yeah, fours are my favorite. Yeah, fours okay. are my favorite. I love fours. And people person. hate fours. I really like fours. I don't that's mind. my favorite when it comes to Jumpman too. When it comes to Jordan, that's my favorite yeah. silhouette. And you are the yeah. second person saying that. So on the pod, the we are already there. We there. We there. We both are <laughs> four bros. We four bros. <laughs> so if if let's say you want to get rid of all your shoes now, you already say fours is your favorite. I know. I told you I'm gonna put you in the all zone. Oh I told you, man, I you. bro! You said I gotta I get rid you, of him. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna put you on the all zone. So oh now, man! So now, yeah, the falls are gone. Like, <sighs> is it a bond of like you don't you can't find it? What other shoe are you gonna save? Like, okay. Just save two pairs of shoes. Just save two pairs? Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm going to give you a grace. Of okay. Two pairs. If I can save two pairs, it's it's between three pairs. It would be my reverse mochas, um, my fragment lows, and my Jordan 1 highs. I would have to save my Jordan 1 highs for sure, my Travis highs. And um, now I really love the fragments. But the reverse mocha on feet is just so clean, bro. So I would have to save those two. If my fours are gone, it's going to be reverse mocha and um, Travis Scott, Jordan 1 High. All right, cool. All right. Cool. That's the two I'm saving. All right, cool. We've talked about your family. We've talked about the sneakers. Now, let's talk about what, what, what state are you in currently? What state? Like, what city? Oh, I'm in Chicago. Uh, so I live in Chicago, man. Well, okay. I'm from Chicago and I moved to a suburb outside of Chicago. Okay. I I love my city, man. I love my city. There's always something going on here. Now I know everyone on the outside knows what Chicago is. Like it's it's one of those places where if you 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 gotta know where you are at all times. That's all I'm gonna say. Like I, I don't down my city at all. You know, there's a lot of beautiful people, amazing people here, a lot of amazing places, but you just kind of have to know where you are and, and where you shouldn't be. Where you, should be. Yeah. you can come to Chicago and have a great time, have a great vacation, and um, you know, visit a lot of places. You can go to the United Center, you can get some great food, great pizza, great steaks, great sushi, great. You know, we have a beach on the lake in downtown, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you could, you can really come here and enjoy yourself, but you can also get out of that uh, and go to a suburb right outside of Chicago and really kind of get away from it all um, and, ex and experience comedy shows and all kind of stuff. So it's, there's a lot of sneakers here, man. You guys know this is the Mecca. This oh, is sneakers. the Mecca. I'm going to say yeah, that. This is oh, the sneakers. Mecca. True, true. I have Okay. Been Everybody's going to say New York. All right. Mm. This is the Mecca, in my opinion. Mm. All right. I, this is the no, Mecca. No, I'm not calling it the Mecca. I, I'm going to stick to New York. Nah, this New is York. the Mecca. It's, it's Jordan. There. Like, it's Chicago. Yeah, it's Jordan, but uh, New York is. Yeah, Jordan, Jor hey, Jordan is Chicago, man. Like, Chicago colorway. Force, what? Air Force is New York, bro. Like, listen, Force. but listen, listen. What's the is do you does does New York have a colorway? Is it the New York colorway or is it the Chicago colorway? Like what? Like everyone wants the Chicago. So the Chicago colorway is is for Red Bulls, right? It's not like I don't, everybody I don't wants. <laughs> everybody <laughs> wants a Chicago, bro. Everybody <laughs> wants a Chicago, man. Dude, right? uh, Dude, New York don't have a colorway. Even North Carolina got their own colorway, which is the Carolina best. got a colorway. Chicago has a colorway, but mm, that's true. New York doesn't have a. I mean, there's what Brooklyn, like a Brooklyn. It's not really a thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but Chicago and you know Carolina have their own colorways. True, you got true. John you know the I mean? He said he's first. You have to reach out to my man. Reach out. <laughs> You Let's figure it out, man. I got some crazy ideas. I actually got a crazy custom idea I want to do that that would be that would be crazy. All right. So, like now that you're talking about customs, like do you 
do, like do you do, are you into fashion or do you draw are you an artist like do you do so anything? all right so i'm gonna say and this is this is well this is to you you no one has ever heard this from me okay no one has ever heard this from me Exclusive. so i'm not i'm not uh an artist in that way but i i have definitely dabbled in you know the mic you know i get in the studio and i get busy sometimes right. you know uh there's nothing there's nothing on the net for y'all to find but uh <laughs> I, I i got some i got some i got some bars man i got some heat that um you know that I haven't showed you guys yet. I said when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm dropping a song. I'm dropping one song called 10K. I've been saying it this whole time. I'm going to drop a song called 10K. And every time I hit another 10, I'm going to drop another one until I get to 100. And I have, you know, I have a 10K album. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So do you rap or do you sing? I don't sing. I'm not a singer. I mean, I do sing in the shower, but I don't really, I don't <laughs> sing. I think I don't sing like. That. <laughs> yeah, like that, but no, I, I definitely I, I rap. I'll rap. I'll rap on occasion. I'll rap on occasion. Like if my brother, so my brother is a is a producer, okay. and he'll hit me up and he'll be like, "Hey man, I I need like a quick like eight bars, bro. Just like hop in the studio, hop in the booth, and do this for me." And I'm like, "All right, I got you." So good, I, I'll good do that, that for him. Good. How you talk about music, right? So what other genre do you listen to, like? Me now, I'm from Nigeria, so most times yeah. I, li I listen to Afrobeat, right? Yeah. Way before Afrobeat become a thing out here, I've been listening to Afrobeat. So, yeah. do what except aside from rap or R and B or E pop, what other like song do you listen to? Cause me, aside from listening to Afrobeat, I listen to reggaeton too. Although yeah. I don't know what they say, but I just like the vibe exactly and the beat. So, what other like my wife know. my wife is puerto rican so reggaeton is definitely that's definitely something we get into um and we've we've my wife is my wife is the explorer of music i'm gonna say that she we have we got dolly parton albums upstairs we got kanye albums we got records records i mean records dolly right. parton records dolly parton albums we got louis armstrong albums uh and we play that in the house so our kids can really get a good grasp of everything and not just rap especially not the current rap like no shade to anybody no shade to anybody at all but i feel like some of the current rap is a little divisive it's a little uh it's it's driving kids in a different direction that i don't really care for as much um but i i try to listen to everything but my wife is really the explorer of music she'll bring me things that i've never heard before and play me something i'd be like yo that was really dope um she she actually introduced me to like mac miller because i never listened to mac miller until after he passed she introduced me to um oh, she introduced me to a couple of other artists man that i just i never got into but i really do want to get into some more afro beat though because when i hear it it if for some reason i just get super comfortable like yo i got i'm just chilling Chilling. I'm chilling. So you gotta you gotta give me some recommendations. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna give you some recommendations. Yeah, you gotta send me some heat. Somebody was sending yeah. me some um some metal, like some metal bands to listen to. I was like, yo, send me whatever, bro. If I'm working yeah. out, I don't I don't do everything, everything too. Like yeah, like it's so wide. You, you yeah, can, you can't stop learning. I'm yeah, it's not just rap. Now that we talk about music, we talk about sneakers. Now I'm gonna come back both together for you. If you have the luxury. A brand came over to you just like so premises came yeah the Shuvenator, a brand also like okay hhsb crew we got something for you we want you to work on a silhouette yeah and on that silhouette we want you to bring a rapper to work with and tell <laughs> anybody who knows me know what rapper i'm bringing to <laughs> anybody who knows me know what rapper i'm bringing over i already go ahead finish your question but i already know you can wait you can't even see him over here hold on can i can i show you guys my room Where is that? who's that guy <laughs> j cole okay. that's j cole bro i'm bringing j cole over man okay i'm, I'm, I'm bringing j cole i'm bringing j i am i got to bring there's j cole. something though you have to you have to bring another rapper because J. Cole already have his own sale away with He Puma. does, but I gotta bring I'm sorry. All right, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> another one. I, um another one. Yep. You know who I you know who I rock with from this like from the from this current crop of music? I like NLE Chopper, man. I'll bring NLE over with me and we could do something because we, you know, I, I like that. I like I'll bring NLE like over. Vibe. 
I like that. That's a vibe. I like NLE. We could do that. Hey, 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 NLE, if you see this, holler at me, bro. We got to do that. (laughs) Okay. So you have your kids with you, sneaker, content, everything going smoothly. You know, what is going to be like your, like, okay, your reaching point, like, you can feel comfortable, like, okay. You feel like you made it or you feel- Made it, like, you know, we all define our success differently, but, like, you feel like, hmm, I'm proud, you know, I know you're That's proud a great of what question. you're doing so far, but it just looks like, yeah, I think I, 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 I've made it. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Um, and I've been asked that um when I I've 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 asked for things like um I'm trying to say it properly without like messing it up, but I don't ever think I'll feel like I've made it because I know what it's like to be like nobody cares, bro. And I and even sometimes, even like I, I'm just being real and vulnerable with even sometimes people I feel like that. people just don't care, bro. Like they don't care about my shoes. They don't care about what I have to say, my opinion or um, how I feel. Right. They only care about how can I provide value to, to their life or to their experience. So um, feeling like I've made it, I could say I feel like I've uh, reached a level of comfort where I'm able to do things for myself and my family in the way that I want to. Now, I, I don't know when that will be. I'm not there yet, but I can't wait for it to happen. I, but to answer the question, I don't think I'll ever feel like I've made it because in a heartbeat, you can get canceled in a heartbeat. It'll be like, yo, we don't care about what this dude says anymore. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's 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 how I feel, man. True, true. Like adding to what you just said like people like see instagram followers subscribers yeah. and it gets it gets over some people head like oh yeah, yeah. i got one million followers I yeah got it out, you know but yeah. at the end of the day that's the main reason i set up the podcast because nothing can ever be a conversation right you know? at the end of the day we know each other from internet but we don't really yep. know each other like that right you know like all these you're telling me now, I don't know. Right. If I if I even DM you or send you a voice note, I'll probably won't know. Right. You know, on uh, like a platform. Because that's like this. that's one of the things. That's one of the things that I heard. Um, I think it was, I don't know if it was Elon or somebody else said that like a lot of times people are showing their happiest and their best moments. They're well, not a lot of times, all of the times, oh, typically time. on, on yes. social media, people are yes. showing their happiest and their best moments. Now, I'm not a person who's gonna post oh man i'm really sad today i'm not and not to say any shade to anybody who does that because maybe you need to speak to somebody or maybe someone needs to talk to you or maybe you need some help but me personally i'm i don't even show every moment of my life you know what i mean so i just it's just like just like joe fresh good no yeah our emotions (laughs) yeah all the different emotions you know and we 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 all have them man we all have them and like you said nothing beats a conversation and that's what my channel is about honestly like my channel is is about sneakers but if you come into one of my live streams and you're there we talk about everything we talk about life we talk about um one of the homies uh one of the homies actually just beat cancer um and he came in and he was like yo i just wanted to tell you guys i just beat cancer I was like, fam, let's stop everything we're doing right now. We were copying. Let's stop everything we're doing right now and let's give him a round of applause. Let's congratulate him. Let's fill him with great positive energy and love so he knows that we appreciate him coming through and spending time with us after you just freaking beat cancer, bro. Like, you don't have to talk to me. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I'm I get passionate about conversations because that's what i want to do i don't want to just be like surface level i want to get let people know who i am and i want to know who you are yeah yeah like i really appreciate that answer like it really clears a lot of stuff but yeah. now let's get to the value part right. my size is size seven how do you be getting all these sneakers bro all these sneakers most of it is retail bro 
Bro, retail. All most of my sneakers are retail. Um, exactly, bro. Look, retail. Retail. Wait, uh, retail my fives retail. are retail. Uh, my lobsters are not. Um, those are retail. My Chicago's are retail. My threes are retail. Fours are retail. Those are not. British those trackies. are retail. My wife. Going. My wife. Uh, oh, I got the fragments for retail. Fours for retail. I'm on my hairs for retail. <laughs> Everything for retail. Um, and that's just because I I had a lot of help, man. My wife cop a lot of sneakers for me a lot of sneakers like her account at one point was moon bro she was going to the moon she was hitting everything and um i i it is it was just a matter of time like i was hitting yeezys like that's what i I try to tell people at some point yeezy supply was like a guaranteed w for me i was hitting yeezys like this on yeah, yeezy I miss supply. Those days. i miss those yeah days. and i was copping the yeezys and then I was not hitting on sneakers and wifey was just hitting on sneakers and i'm like yo so we we do have a lot of a lot of retail w's it it was i got i got two extra phones they cracked these look, look. oh wow this is real human, okay that, he's human but you are a human <laughs> but <laughs> this, i got two extra phones uh these are my old phones that broke and i was like yo let me just keep them for sneakers accounts i got two extra phones my phone my son has a phone so it's just like everybody else man like you use the resources that you can my grandmother has a sneakers account wow. my mom has a sneakers account oh, wow. my aunt has a sneakers account so whenever it comes down to i need a, a shoe i really need it everybody's going for it in a size 13. Oh wow, that's that's dope. That's dope. Like yeah. you said, most of your sneakers now, like you just point everything now is retail. Now I wanna have, I wanna ask you a trick, a tricky question. Okay. It doesn't have to be with you, and I know you can't speak for everybody because you yeah. can't control what other people do or yeah. you know what they are up to. But what do you think about replicas, fakes, like paying that? I understand a lot of people don't eat for retail, right? So they yeah. end up paying that replica price what do you think about the culture because now there's a rep community there's a rep culture there's what a whole you... community exactly. and what i'm gonna be the guy i'm gonna be the guy who says i don't care what you wear right i don't care what you buy that is your money i am in no position to even speak on your your ability to purchase what i can purchase or what you can purchase or what the next man can purchase so personally i don't mind the entire rep community it's uh it is an outlet or an avenue for people who that's just what they do right that's just it's not necessarily something that i'm interested in okay like i won't purchase a fake or i won't wear anything like that but i don't knock anyone who does it because i don't know their situation or their position and i'm not a person who judges anybody based on you know what they want to do but what i will say is i have gotten i've gotten uh i've gotten got you know i've purchased i've purchased two fakes in my in my my life i purchased two fakes on accident it was an offer up deal i've done a video on it on my youtube channel where i bought a pair of yeezys uh two pairs of yeezys and i sent them through uh check check no legit app and they both came back fake. So my issue is when you buy a fake and then you sell it as the authentic Real. thing, don't do that. Like that's just grimy. It's not cool. It's and scam. I think you're taking advantage of people. But the UA market, the rep market, all it is is uh, it's it's another avenue that someone took advantage of. Okay, if Nike is going to make X amount of sneakers and they're not gonna well with the black toes we got three hundred and eighty thousand pairs of black toes everyone was able to get a pair that's cool but when it comes to travis scott's we get 30 40 000, 60 000, whatever you know pairs and they're not making enough for the people who want them which kind of guides them in a direction to go somewhere else and buy something, buy something. and if that uh, if it's available for them, it's available for them. But just don't sell it to me. That's all. Just don't sell it to me. I'm cool with it. Just don't sell it to me. True, true, true. Now that, you know, through this podcast, few people already know few of your personality. But yeah. I want you to tell people, like, what is, like, HHSB crew, what is all about? Like, 
Is it just sneaker information, copying for retail, live section? I want you to give them all the details. Like, okay. what is going to like what what is going to add to them? Like, what is it all about? So, what the crew what the crew is going to add to you, man? If you can't tell already, we're genuine people, bro. Like, we I genuinely care about all of the interactions that I have, all of the the crew members, the subscribers, the people who follow me on Instagram. I truly care about each and every one of you guys. You guys DM me, I answer, right? You guys talk to me on YouTube, I talk back. It's it's more about uh, a community, and a, and I know a lot of people use that word community so like freely, just because it's a group of people, it's a community. But mm-hmm. I feel like a community is is a space where people help each other. Like I've copped sneakers for retail and sold them for retail to other people, you know what I mean? Or I've tried to, I've cop sneakers for them on my account and I've, you know, they sent me the money, nothing on top, just retail purchases. And um, I think that's what we're about, man. I know that's what we're about. Uh, We're all about looking out for the next person and making sure that we can all cop manually. Now the live streams are like my bread and butter. Like that's what I, that's what I really want to become one of the best that is live streaming. Live stream. And the reason I like live streaming is even though we're, re- we're recording this, it's on the, it's on the whim, bro. Like there's, there's no script. There's no yeah. way for me to prepare and try to figure out what I'm going to say and all of that. It's just it's every genuine. day. It's raw. Yeah. It's raw. What every day, whatever's happening in the world, that's what we're going to talk about. Whatever happens in the stream is what happens in the stream. So um, I'm just about good, positive energy. You guys will never hear me outside of being a positive person. And if you do, check me. Say, hey, crew, that's not you, bro. Like, get back to your positive stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a good, positive person. I like to uh, surround myself with another with other positive people. And um, I just want to lift other people up and I want to look out for people because I know someday I may need help. I may need assistance. I may need a lob. I may need somebody to look out for me and I may need somebody to help me out one day. So it's all about that good karma, man. What, what, what? I mean, I'm already part of the crew. I used to 100%, be- bro. That, my, my boy is big crew. Yeah, You've been I'm crew ready. for a while, bro. I remember when I first started my Discord. I was gonna try to help you with something yeah, in Discord, and Discord. I just think I forgot about it. I just think yeah, I no, nah, you didn't forget about it. Actually, I was the one that didn't take it that serious because I was trying to get into the Discord. Then I yeah. was like, "This is not a joke. You have to yeah. take it <laughs> You you can't just joke with it. It's yeah. like you putting people career on your ends. Like yeah. you're looking out for people, you don't want to joke with that. So I'm yeah. like, whenever I'm ready. I'm going to set it up. Like all this that you just said, that's the type of what I envision, yeah. to, you know, to do. But I was like, I don't have the time or the energy to do all that right now. So yeah. I think I, I would just, you know, I would just postpone it and do it later. So my last question, I don't know if it's going to be my last question, but okay. I can ask you a question and bring out another question. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But be- before you ask the question, you mm-hmm. could hop in my Discord. You can hop in my Discord mm-hmm. and you provide all kind of information and everything. And we could, there's a lot of really good people in my Discord that will help you just to get familiar and understand things so you're not jumping in all alone. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? All so right, feel cool. free to hop in my Discord and we'll get you set up you can post info whatever you find out pictures stuff like that whatever and we can start like that all right cool cool i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do cool. that so my last question is like i don't know your whole life you've been like you've been living in america like the state yeah like you said chicago so i'm 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 someone like i'm an immigrant right i came all the yeah. way from nigeria you yeah. know and i've been in tune with the culture for let's say four years like, yeah i started paying attention to drops and all that for like three years now. Yeah. Now let's say like you just want to move with your family. Yeah. Wherever it might be. And you guys just want to move outside America or Europe. Yeah. What African country do you think is going to be suitable for you? Like, you know that, okay, this is the country that I know I can move to with my family. I don't know, bro. That's a that's a <laughs> great question. And honestly, my answer is I don't know. All I know about the country, all I know about the continent is just that it's 
it's there. Like I don't, and, and from what I see on TV and what I see in TV shows, like Blood and Water was like one of my favorite TV shows. And I watched that all the time. And I was like, yo, maybe I wouldn't go there where I would check that out. I would have to ask you, I would be like, yo, where do you think I could go with my family, yeah. man? We're, we're a mixed family where, you know, we got, I, you know, I'm black, my wife's Puerto Rican, my kids are mixed. Like, where could we go and just like vibe? Could, it be, could we go to Nigeria? Me, if you ask me, because I'm, I'm on a mission to, you know, like I'm trying to bring my country sneaker. Like I want to set up the sneaker culture in my country. That'd be lit. At least in another level. So I would just have to favor my own country, which is Nigeria. So I would yeah. have to say Nigeria, bro. Like, yeah. Anywhere you want to go, Nigeria. I ain't Nigeria to go. is it? Yeah. So Nigeria. my ancestry DNA, like I did my ancestry DNA to figure out like who I like, what I am exactly. And I'm mostly Nigerian. Like I'm mostly, yeah, that's, I'm mostly Nigerian. That's how I see it. Like the the also, I see the also in you. Like when I oh really? Oh, you gotta tell yo, you gotta tell me about this, bro. I, I don't, you know, I, I, my mind is blown. Yeah, I, gotta, I see the ginger. I see. The ginger. Yeah, ah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta I tell me, bro. Nigerian name. I have to give you a Nigerian name. You got, bro, if you give me a Nigerian <laughs> name, bro, I'm not, bro. I need a Nigerian name from you yeah. now, bro. But I could I pull up my board, ancestry. Bro. It I'm says gonna... like mostly Nigerian. Yeah, I have to. So yeah, that that that's definitely the reason. Because when I ask you what 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 are you gonna consider as success, you, you said you don't know. Like you just have to keep doing it. So yeah, you gotta keep going. Yeah, that's part of Nigeria trait. So yeah, like I appreciate you doing this with me. Of course. Before we go, I like my host to ask me questions too. So if you have any question, you oh, let me see. Me, please shoot. Let me see. Okay. All right. I got a question for you. Sure. So if you if you could create a collab, it doesn't matter like what the brands are, who's with who, who's with you know what I mean. Like you can mix and match, right? Mm -hmm. What would be like your like the one that you would buy like who would be the collaborator would it be like travis scott and adidas or uh a6 salehi bembry like what would you do what kind of collab would you put together before i can answer the question first i'm gonna say when it comes to sneakers i used to say these i'm a weird person like i don't go, <laughs> I don't go with what people actually like i go yeah. with something that you won't think of right like something out of the blue like what was it doing you know so first I, when we started the podcast i told you i listened to more of afrobeat right yeah in the past like i don't know if you know these artists but i'm going to name some few afrobeat artists we have Whiskey, okay. we have burner boy we have burner boy Nido, i know burner boy you know we got all these artists we have Rema. so i'm going to have to go with an artist which is in the afro bit so that okay. way the sneaker culture in my country in nigeria can go gets a high. level up i like and it level up you know like back then before there was edge of the one there's run the mc yeah you know, that's what i feel like hip-hop play a big role when it comes to sneaker culture of course of course and the now, biggest like, afro bit is trying to be a thing so i'll just use that leverage and that influence to push whatever collab so to answer your question i'm gonna go with an artist and the artist i'm gonna go with is i'm biased i would say i'm biased but that's the artist i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with whiskey 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 his name is whiskey whiskey yeah i don't know if you know this song is uh you don't need no other but the essence this song yeah. was everywhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Was, i know that one. is that uh what's that what's whiskey that name Thames, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna go with whiskey. That oh man! And then I mean, what's the I, what's the what's the brand? The brand is gonna be. Sheesh, I haven't think about that. Because I, <laughs> you, I need, I need that. I need both of them. I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna give you because I was planning to have my own silhouette, but I would say the person that can see the vision better, I'm gonna go with New Balance. Okay. I'm gonna go with New Balance because. Whiskey is someone that do whatever I want to do. Mm. And New Balance are someone that do whatever they want to do too. Yeah. They didn't care about, oh, the, let's let's reduce the price so people can right. actually up. They stick to their price point. And yep. they didn't start collaborating with artists like, like forever, like Jordan and Adidas. 
New Balance yeah. literally started collaborating with artists during the pandemic. Yeah. So I, I'm going to go with Whiskey and New Balance. That so I, now I got to, now I have to look up this artist so yeah, I can see up. and visualize what this New Balance will look like because New Balance typically comes with crazy quality and a bro. lot of really dope. You're gonna like, get it textures. once you look up the artist. Trust me, bro. I'm gonna Trust see it <laughs> right now. You can take your phone if you with your phone or whatever. Let me, hold on, you said let me see Afro beats. Let me see. Dial. All right. Yeah, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. You're gonna you're gonna see the vision right there. Right there, bro. <laughs> Let me see. I, I look it up. Yeah, whiskey dial. Let me see. I can. I can share. Yeah, you it. gotta show me because I can't spell it. I got you. I got oh, you. there it is. Hold on, whiskey. There it is. Okay. Right I see a lot of colors. Exactly. <laughs> I see a lot of colors. This is what I see. Like I see this. Oh, whoa. I'm, I'm going to share. Yeah, yeah. That was whiskey. I'm going to share you on Instagram right now so you can see what is. I what see is a like. lot of colors. Let's see. Cool. All right. You can check your DM. I just DM you his page. I see it right here. Yeah. I see yeah, it. I see it. I see it. I got to check him out. Oh, yeah. He's got like a. um. Miguel, Miguel, like the artist Miguel, he kind of gives me like that vibe. In this picture, yeah, he kind of gives me like a Miguel vibe. Yeah, kind of, kind of. That might be he, slick. Hey, y'all better, New Balance. <laughs> new Balance. You better listen to the man. He's telling y'all right now. He's new telling y'all right now. Is, you know, you know, there's vision right here. We, we, I like we, it. I like it. I like it. Vision. So, yeah. I, I. Do you have any other question for me? No man, I listen. I'm a. I'm gonna definitely think about some things. We definitely got to link up though. I would like definitely. to do something like if we're at a sneaker con or a sneaker event where we can walk around and talk to people together. I think that would be cool. Like I really want to do down. that with you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm down, bro. Like I. I know you said you're going to a lot of uh, events. Yeah. But I didn't plan it. Like probably the next one. Yeah, the next one, bro. Don't the trip, man. Just let me Don't know trip. before so I can plan the whole trip, get my ticket. Fly yeah, and you know, just don't trip, fun. man. Like, I'm really day, happy. This I'm happy fun, you invited bro. me to come on, bro, and talk to you. And I get a chance to, you know, the real soul gang, you know, the real soul gang could talk yeah. to you, know, and uh, see who we are, man. And I really appreciate you. I really think that what you have going on is really amazing, it's really authentic. And um, I wish you nothing but success. And you know, you got your homie here. You need anything, you need any help, any way I could help you in any kind of way, bro, just reach out to me and I got you. I, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it a lot. And same goes to you, bro. Anything 100%. you need, you, you know, it goes vice versa, right? We adding value to each other. Yeah. And I appreciate you coming on the pod. I feel blessed, to be honest. I nah, man, blessed. it's a good, this yeah. was a good pod, bro. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah, a good one of questions, bro. A lot of I, yeah, I, that's the main reason why I don't write, I don't write out my questions because- Yeah. The more conversation we get, like as the conversation keeps going, the question keep coming. Yeah, like flow. So I really enjoy this pod. I mean, your 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 episode is gonna be the sixth episode. Yeah, so I like that. Right now, so you probably see this. Watch out for this by next week. Sunday. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be done with editing and everything by next week Sunday, and. I wish you nothing but the best, bro. You too, man. I really appreciate the it, man. The I, limit. Thank you. Guys, I mean, my regards to your wife, your children. And thank you. Keep cooking it. <laughs> man, we're going to keep cooking it up, bro. We're going to keep cooking it up, bro. I appreciate right. you, man. Thank you so much. Have a blessed one. Appreciate it. For sure. You too.